sensing unit is a device for maintaining a predetermined disc between your nozzle and your work surface. I'll reveal the cover so you can see the internal components. Basically, you have a drag shoe that will ride along the surface of your material that you're cutting, and it, if it encounters any dips or bends in your material, uh, this will maintain. Uh, there is an LVT inside that's calibrated to the set height between your nozzle and your work surface. If this encounters any variation in between the calibrate number and the standoff height, it will either raise the head or lower the head to compensate for either the dip or the rise in, in the material. Individual height control for, for each head. Um, be enabled two modes, a timer mode that can be set on the HMI screen or continuous contact mode that the height sensor is active with the material all the time. The calibration button to set the calibration point that the height sensor will run in. This is just for the, the second head, so it could either be one or two controls that can be set individually. Uh, what we have to supply the water is a three swivel swing arm system typically used when there is a overhead restriction uh, so that you can't use longer whips. And also if you have a, a long bed uh, Y cutting, X cutting system. Uh, what we do is we have three swivels simply run the high pressure water up the pole, up the swivel, up to the swing arm, up to the main carriage. Uh, then we run along the back, the main D, to a central point. Run two smaller whips from, from the central location point to each head, as each head can either move simultaneously or mirror image each other. Also, the uh, system is supplied either a long swing arm running across the back and then up and over the whip to the head or else we sometimes will run it along the cat track through the, through the main beam up and over the, the whip to the cutting head. Thank <laughs> you. 
set program zero points, control pump pressure, control feed rate override, return to path, single step control, and go to program zero.